Alright, thank you for watching. Um, today I'm just going to show you how to install the Mirage management server. So for Mirage um, 3.6 service pack 1, there's a requirement in fact to actually create a separate Mirage uh, account. So basically my domain controller, I have already done that. Um, I've created a group called Mirage Admin. I also create a service account which is part of this Mirage admin group called Mirage SVC. So what you gotta do here is include that Mirage admin group into the local admin of your Mirage management server. So here I'm just gonna show you on the my computer. Right. I have my local admin here and I have already added in the Mirage admin group here. So what's inside this Mirage admin group is basically the Mirage SVC user. And um, you need to log in using the Mirage SVC user into your Mirage management server. Alright. As you can see here, I'm really logged in as the user. And this user must have the DB creator in your database. And this installation I'm using a separate machine for the database. Alright, I'm not using the built-in SQL Express. So the requirement here is that uh, we need to raise the user account control. Because when it's using the user account control, you cannot do a double click um, by just installing it. So I'm just going to show you how it's going to look like. Uh, you'll be prompted with this. So it actually give you the instruction to do a el elevated command prompt. Alright, so here I'm going to, going to show you how you can do that. So basically, we just need to go to your command prompt, right click, run it as an administrator, proceed as yes, when prompted. Now I'm just going to go to my CD ROM, right, and uh, let's go to the Mirage servers and here we see again I'm just going to run my Mirage management server for the installation and you see that now it's run successfully let's accept the license agreement so here my database server is a separate server and um, I'm using a default instance name called MSSQL server when you install MSSQL server R2 it will actually be that so I'm going to leave blank because if you were to specify it it will not work right just take note of this the SQL server instance has to be blank if you are using the default instance name when you install the SQL server so I'm just going to click next if nothing goes wrong it will actually prompt you for the next one if you are ro installing locally you could use a local system account for my case I'm using an AD credential so here I'm going to just specify so you can see here that Marats SVC is the account that has been shown. Alright, and here you will have to include your domain and group name. In my case, it's Mirage Admin. Right, if everything is successful, you will get this screen and you can just proceed with the installation. Just know that you are not supposed to use any of the built in groups. This is actually stated inside the documentation on how to create a Mirage account and group alright for use to do the installation. I refer to my blog for more details and uh, for more information on how and what other requirements that I actually use to set up this Mirage management server. Okay, I finished. So next, we'll proceed uh, with an, an uh, the next setup, which is uh, which is the Mirage Management Console. So let's move to the Management Console. Same thing, we have to do this in the elevator mode. 
right, which I will assume I'm not using a 64-bit, so you've got to use a 64-bit one. Right. Just accept everything. Right, the setup was successful. Right, the icon is actually on the desktop, so I'm just going to go to my desktop. Click yes, and prompted. So here I'm just going to expand this. Here I'm going to right click on VMware Mirage, click at the system. So basically my system is my local um, machine, so I'm just going to just type in the name. And you see the Mirage server is being identified. However, you will see that it's connecting and it actually reflect it down because we have not installed the Mirage server. Alright, before we do that, um, I'm just going to add in the license file. So here, I'll click on System Configuration, and you can see here, it actually shown server down. Alright, once we have installed the Mirage server, it will be appear as up. Click on Settings, and uh, we'll move down, we will set the license, and here I will browse to my temporary license which is also on the CD itself it will be um, named as a .lic file alright and you can see that I have 25 CBDS uh, for desktop management I have 25 of them in the expire end of this year 30th of December 2012 just click OK to set up the licenses Alright, so next uh, we'll do the installation for the Mirage server. So here I'm just going to move back and uh, let's click on the Mirage server folder and let's do the installations. Same thing, if it's sponsored with this, you just have to elevate it to elevated install. So open your command prompt, and just add the other ones. Right, same thing, go to your CD-ROM Alright, the right server Just to make sure I'm at the right directory Alright, uh, right, now we're going to install the server Start the command prompt in the elevated mode. Let's see the yes. And now let's go to the directory server and um, server. Right. Click next. Agree to the licenses. Next. So I'm going to change the SQL server here. Um, mine is a default instance, let's just leave it as it is. Cool, I'm going to create a new local caching. Alright, um, because this is new. So official, I'm just going to leave everything as default. Um, which is 10 gig of space. Um, my apologies, it's 100 gig of space. Alright. So I don't think I have that amount. Alright. Um, server I'm just gonna change this uh, because I don't have 100 gig of space I'm just gonna change it to 10 gig all right so basically I'll cancel the installation what happened is that we need 100 gig of space and I just did some expansion here so I'm just going to go in 
and uh, manage my disk management and uh, previously our CD-ROM is actually on D drive, now I'm just going to change it to E uh, because I just like to keep all the drive together I'm just going to create all my volumes. I'm just going to create assignment. Okay. So this is done. So I'm now going to do a uh, elevator install. So. Uh, Instead of D now, let's go to E. Okay. So I'm just going to put this. Leave this as empty. Let's create a new one. And uh, because I'm going to do a local caching, so I'm just going to leave this as D, which I have just created. Click next. You should get it successful because I'm using a default. Uh, SQL instance, so I don't have to specify it. So we have to create, um, enter the credential for your user. And just did that, and we just carry on with the installation. Alright, we are done. So we just need to perform a restart. Let's just do that. Let's just lock in again. So I'm just gonna go to the Mirage console again just to make sure that this time now I believe the Mirage server status should be online. Alright, let's just add a service here. See that it's connecting. And you can see that it's now online with a green tick. Right? This end the installation for my Mirage server um, the additional steps you can fully refer to the installation guide the mirage installation guide actually provide the best step by step it actually shows you even with screenshots all right it's pretty easy to follow all right here i just want to show you that if you are using the default sql instance you have to leave it blank i actually encountered this and actually raised the support and i was given to actually leave it as blank so here just for a sharing session thank you for watching